Have you heard there are extraterrestrial chickens? They're called alien hens. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you, my friends. I hope that you have had a good weekend. I've had a uh, I've had a pretty good weekend. Um, unfortunately, I haven't been able to be here as much as I would like, but it is good as always to be back. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Simple name, first in chat. Welcome in. Happy to have you with us tonight. Looks like we've also got Lucent Jelly. Thank you for the resub, Jelly. Nine months. Thank you for all the support. Sparrow the Dragoon. Welcome in, Sparrow. Rewindings for Losers. Welcome to you as well. And Mile Hyrule. Happy to have you all here. Game sound, but no mic sound. Yeah, I didn't... Uh, I hope that you can hear the mic. I didn't have it turned on at first. Uh, a brief view of the full room there. Yeah, so I've got it set up so I can do the big camera uh, more easily. But now I am more prone to hitting it by accident. So yeah, you can see sort of a wide angle view of my disaster of a room. Everything is in uh, everything is in disarray. <laughs> I had been working on uh, I had been working on organizing the room and uh, and making it presentable for a while, but um, I got these shelves and I'm not crazy about them. I was going to do some work to improve them, but now I potentially have some other shelves on the way, so that that sort of uh, that sort of uh, demotivates me. To organize the place because uh, because what's the point of organizing it and filling up these shelves if I'm just gonna replace them I love those lantern things the lantern things are pretty cool um, we've actually got four of them um, the one on the uh, the one on my right had been um, had been broken but uh, we fixed it at least for now. <laughs> At least for now. They're very old and they don't hold together super well. Alright, I'm gonna be small again. Hooked on Pot, welcome to the stream and thank you for the uh, thank you for the bits. I appreciate that. Thank you, my friend. Next Halloween stream, maybe just run those lights. They don't uh, provide as much illumination as uh, one might hope for. <sighs> All right, so the plan for the night, um, um, we're continuing our theme of, of January is Jankuary, and apparently Jankuary is jank ufo -ary. <laughs> because I've got another sort of uh, alien-themed game. We're going to play, uh, we're going to play Men in Black on the Game Boy Color and see how this goes. Um, it's got some, uh, it had some impressive uh, animations there. Uh, playing at the uh, beginning and I had I had read that about it. I didn't read too much about it because uh, Basically, I just want to check to make sure these games got kind of m Mediocre to low scores <laughs> But I don't really want to know too much, but they, they did say that the uh, That the animations were impressive so I was expecting it and uh, And they certainly are though. I expect most of the rest of the game to be underwhelming to terrible you didn't think that one through too much frowny did you um i don't know what you're referring to <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I see. Um, I think that UFO is pretty clear. Uh, all right, and after we uh, after we play this for a while, we will move on to um, uh, Donkey Kong Country for the second half of the stream. Um, is the plan? Uh, DKC might not get as much time as uh, we would we would hope to give it. Maybe not as much as it deserves. We'll see. We're gonna see. We're gonna see how this goes. So why don't we jump into this game? It might be Men in Black, the series, the game, Game Boy Advance Edition. Well, this is Game Boy, this is actually Game Boy Color. Um, it always puts a Game Boy Advance, uh, it always puts a Game Boy Advance border around the games for the, um, the Game Boy player. Oh, MIB Headquarters has been overrun by Loophole's alien cohorts. All right, hey, here we go. The, there, the music didn't change, so I didn't... Oh. Yeah, this is... This is kind of rough. I don't know if my ammo is limited. I don't think it is. Select does nothing. Start pauses. Alright, it's just a... Ooh, that jump! It's just a uh, just a, a jump and shoot type type game. Oh my! I should probably proceed a lot more carefully. It looks like we've got three. We can take three hits. No. <laughs> oh, this is. All right. Jump and shoot with the slowest 180 turnaround ever. I kind of like the animation, but yeah, it takes it takes them about a month to turn around. <laughs> you can jump on the enemies? No, certainly that hurt me, right? Is that it? Is that level one? The shape of his forehead! Whoa! Oh, if you stand if you stand still, he's got a he's got an idle animation. Oh, that's it? I thought he was gonna do I thought he was doing more than that. Oh there we go. Exploding spiders. It's going to be a great game. <laughs> Probably. Watch out for collateral damage. So that's... So that's not Will Smith, then. I don't know with the with the shape of uh, with the shape of that guy's head. I'm not sure if we're playing as a human or an alien. Oh, I can run. What is this? How did I do that? Ah, you have uh, you have a lot more moves than I would expect. As excited as I am to be able to run, I'm also very scared to do it because I'll just run into enemies.
That's a one-hit kill. Oh yeah, I just need to walk and fire. Oh no. Oh no! Why did that one activate? It reminds me of, uh, it reminds me of Zelda 2. One thing I noticed that, uh, blue guy before, this one always activates. Well, I would, I would love to be able to take it out, but I don't think that's going to happen. All right. New new strategy. Oh, that blue guy. Yes, leave it behind. No, it's coming back. Get in the elevator quick. Oh, my. It's a deadly DVD screensaver. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Black Fox, welcome to the stream. I'm late, sorry, what's going on? No worries. The only, uh, the only person who needs to uh, apologize when they're late to the stream is me. <laughs> Everyone else is more than welcome to show up at whatever time is convenient. Oh, that's it. That's a, There's a game over screen. Try again, Slick. That's it. That's it. No continues. Oh, this is going to be a long journey. Oh, and what's going on? We're, we are enjoying uh, Men in Black on the uh, Game Boy Color. We've just started. And it's... It's going to be a long journey to the end of this game. <laughs> Feeling a bit bad for Steve Zero. He said on his stream that he had stomach issues that might be related to his liver. Send him some love if you can, everyone. So, I was actually in a stream the other day, and I heard him talking about um, getting a bunch of uh, different medical tests done. But I, I didn't know what was, uh, I didn't know what was wrong with him, and I didn't really, I didn't really want to ask and have to make him repeat, repeat everything. I was trying to just. I was trying to just pick up on uh I was trying to just pick up on what was going on, but I wasn't clever enough to figure it out. But yeah, I hope the I hope the best for him. Might crash out and going into lurk mode. Right on, thank you for the lurk simple name. I appreciate you. And if you do crash, uh, sleep well, my friend. So we'll take it from the, uh, look at that hand. <laughs> oh, what a hand. Uh, I'll take it from the top because that's, uh, all we're able to do. And, uh, you know, hopefully the wisdom we have gained will see us a little, a little further along. I'm really hoping that we get useful passwords in between the levels. My wisdom has done nothing for me.
I just gave him a quick nudge and he said he's seeing the doctor tomorrow. I get to, uh, I get to take Jelly into the doctor tomorrow as well. So let's, uh, let's cross our fingers for her too. Been a, uh, it's, it has been and is continuing to be a busy week. We've had a visit from the plumber, and we've got doctor's visits, we've got eye appointments. I'm abnormally busy this week. Access code, what is that? 2710? Better write that down. I've been using the same sheet of paper for the passwords and notes for all these different games. hang on to it and when I look at it a year from now I'm not going to remember what anything goes with <laughs> uh, let's hope everything is good for everyone sending positive vibes hopefully everything's okay there too thank you thank you when it comes to business for me it's a case of when it rains it pours yeah I've kind of I've been kind of feeling that I've been kind of feeling that myself uh Sparrow. <laughs> Thank you for the positive vibes. We had the we had the plumber come and he like, you know, because we had been having trouble. Our uh, our standpipe was backing up, so something was partially clogged. Because the water would drain if we only used a little, but if we used a lot, it would back up. And uh, I tried to I tried to snake the line, and oh, there's so many. There's so many monsters. I tried using chemicals to clear the line and couldn't do it myself, so we had the plumber come and I mean, you know, the kind of like the kind of snake that you can buy at the at the at the hardware store is nothing like the kind of snake the plumber has. You know, if I if I'm lucky, I can I can snake a couple feet into the line, but the plumber, like the snake he's got, like he can send it down your drain and have it come out the sink in the neighbor's house if he wanted to. <laughs> uh, my goodness. But so the thing was, our so the thing was the issue might be fixed? Question mark. Because we tested it out when he got here, and the line was backing up, and he, and he snaked the line, and then it wasn't backing up anymore, but we also didn't find anything, so... So we're not really sure what the snake unclogged or moved. So I don't, I don't know if I've got, if I've got roots, or if i got a, a warp in my pipe, or a crack, or... We got no idea what's going on, but it's working for now. So if it continues to work, then I'm fine to let it just be a mystery.
That's right, you tried the old Drano stuff too, didn't you? I tried, uh, I tried a couple different, uh, tried a, a couple different, uh, chemical treatments. But, uh, none of them seem to be as effective as I would have hoped. I'm not sure how to pull off that, that move. Yeah, that. I don't know how, I don't know how to do that. Very unreliable. Oh, but now I have a decision to make. If my if my lion appears to clog again, if we get the same problem happening again, I'm gonna have to decide: do I want to call the plumber again, or do I want to, or do I want to see if I can uh, purchase, or do I want to see if I can purchase a professional grade snake? Because I watched what he did, and I was like, you know what? If I had one of those, I probably could have done that. Certainly, getting getting my own equipment's got to be... Got to be cheaper than, than calling the pros out again. You can go down into the sewer? I thought falling into the sewer would be the end of me. Oh, there's an extra life down here. Nice. Wow, look at that ladder climbing animation. That is nice and detailed. Where's the Ninja Turtles? down here too we are checking every sewer I wish the screen I wish the camera would grab me for scrolling a little earlier I don't really like being so close to the edge of the screen what is this weapon upgrade I thought Again, I thought that was going to be the end of me. I don't I don't like this weapon. Oh, it's gone. It was a one-time thing. Was that the blowback? Yeah. It was. That's the um That's the the noisy cricket, right? That's the the gun he has that Knocks him back a thousand feet every time he fires it. One, eight, zero, seven. The twins have reported Scraldian hordes in the sewer system. I've already forgotten what the access code was. Randomly a UFO ghost. The, um... Yeah, the boss. The boss was very strange. He seemed... He seemed to show up and to disappear with very little fanfare.
These enemies, they look like, I don't know, look like hermit crabs. <laughs> I see a, I see a pair of eyes waiting for me. What's my move here? Try and run across? Sure would be nice if I could run. Oh, maybe I can't run in the water. Yeah, I can. How was I supposed to know there was a... How was I supposed to know there was a pit there? I thought of anything. A monster was going to reach out from the wall and grab me. Not that I was going to sink to, sink to my doom. Some of these enemies are at very inconvenient heights. What do you think this thing is? I'm sure it's bad for me. Okay, maybe not. Oh, I think that refilled my health. 1807. Thank you, Sparrow. That's what I, uh, that's what I, that's what I had written down, but I was not confident in it at all. And if you're wondering how I went back in time like that, when you create a clip, you can go back up to one minute or so. There's severe alignment issues with this game. Get in front of my bullet. Yeah, that's how I feel. That's how I feel. A a lot of these. Oh, nice. We can stand on the background pipes. Ooh, that was... This level... This level is very long compared to everything that's come before. You know, between yesterday and between this game tonight, I just cannot get out of the sewers this week. Jeff, welcome to the stream. Um, let me see what Sparrow said first here. Uh, they gave your character ultra smooth animations, but then the enemies have like two frames of walking animation. <laughs> they, 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 at least they put, at least they, at least they prioritized. They only had so much in their animation budget, at least they spent it on the right character. And Jeff says, you spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, right round. <laughs> All right. How's the um how's the Castlevania speedrun practice going, Jeff? Oh, I think I'm supposed to land on these. I can't 
I can't plan jumps like this. What? No. Good. I've learned the strats up until the Dracula fr up until the Dracula fight. Right on. I was there. I was there. I think it was a month ago. It was a while back. I was there um, when you were practicing one night, but you were just you were just starting it out. So that's that's quite a bit of progress. Oh no. <laughs> that was a bad move. Cows, welcome to the stream. Happy to have you with us. Welcome to uh, Men in Black on Game Boy Color. A pretty rough time. Alright, we're going to put in our access code. I didn't think about it until just now, but this is a cell phone. Remember remember when cell phones looked like this? Probably going to start PB attempts soon. Best of luck to you. I never, um, I still haven't ever submitted my most recent PB from Castlevania, uh, Castlevania Adventure. It's been like, it's been like two months since my last PB and I never turned it in. I wonder if there's a, I wonder if there's a time limit on that. <laughs> uh, I wonder if I, if I submit it now they'll tell me, no, you did this run too long ago. <laughs> says these animations remind me a lot of the game called another world or out of this world yeah i really hope you'll be able to try that game sometime it's an absolute masterpiece it's an early 16-bit game that played uh, a lot like story-based games on much newer systems i don't think i've steered you wrong so far with game recommendations and i can't praise another world highly enough so i'm actually a little bit i'm a little bit familiar with that game um I have heard of it, and I have seen footage from it. I haven't seen, you know, like a complete playthrough or anything like that, so it hasn't been spoiled for me. But yeah, um, what I what I picture in my head when I think about it does look a lot like this game. Oh, our password resets our lives. That's great. So every time we get a new password, that gives us an opportunity. Well, it gives us unlimited opportunities to start levels with a fresh start. That's great. So this this game may not be may not be the uh, whirlwind of agony that it could have been. <laughs> this is good.
I think Johnny Jones was playing that not too long ago. I didn't, uh, I didn't catch him playing it, but... He streams, he streams a lot, so... It can be, it can be hard to keep up with everything he's got going on. Isn't there a sequel game coming out? That has to be the most fitting dance for this music. Oh my! <laughs> somehow, somehow I'd overlooked that emote. <laughs> Do you remember what, uh, if I'm not mistaken, that is, that is a, a capture of you from your stream, right, Jeff? Do you remember what motivated that? Sorry, I had to take a moment to, to check. It just occurred to me that I hadn't looked at my emotes page, but no, Twitch has still not granted me animated emotes. I think I'm uh, I think I'm last on the list of priority. Games got jumps that make you just that make you just feel the action. <sighs> Don't worry, a lot of people are waiting. Actually, myself included. I, I so I, I cried about this a little bit before Sparrow, and I'm I'm not particularly worried. I'm just a little bit annoyed. I like I wish because every time I look up my emotes page, it says animated emotes coming soon, and it's just like. It's been saying that for a very long time, and it's like, for, what is Twitch's definition of soon? And I just, I wish that message wasn't on the page, because I wish they didn't tell me about them, and they would just show up, because then I wouldn't, if I didn't know that they were coming, then I wouldn't miss them. <laughs> uh. And I've already had, I've already had Jelly, I've already had Jelly make me a a couple potential uh, animated emotes. So just the combination of being teased with the potential of them and already being ready for it. It's making me impatient. 0309. Having hitched a ride to Earth, a Vermax infestation threatens the aerodrome. Was that 0309? I think. I'm really bad at catching these passwords. They go by so quickly. Not sure why I got access. I think it's random, Jeff. Um, I believe they rolled out because uh, when I got the follower emotes, um, I I looked it up and I read somewhere that they were rolled out to people randomly. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I feel like I got those pretty early, so that's probably why I'm lower priority on the uh, on the animated emotes. <laughs> so I shouldn't be I shouldn't be crying, but I'm going to anyway. I'm gonna fight Twitch. <laughs> Give Frowny the emotes. Thank you, cows. Flashback. Don Pot says, I played Flashback before on the Panasonic 3DO. It was too hard for me. <laughs> Better not get my hopes up. They just went through for me, Jeff says. Twitch 
Twitch has been sending care packages to their partner streamers, and some people haven't gotten them, and others have get, got sent them twice. <laughs> uh. Jeff doesn't have the follower emotes. All right, see, there you go. That's why you were you were prioritized for the animated emotes because you didn't get the follower emotes, probably. So it all it all works out. We all get something, and we all have to wait for something. I have to say, this is not... <laughs> this is not the greatest background that I've ever seen in games. Especially, because look at this, uh... I don't know how well it shows up in the capture, but look at this airplane, and like the squares of incorrect color around the tail fin there it looks like it was it looks like it was like poorly cut out of a of a pre-existing image and they're all like that it just copy pasted This game, I think this game definitely qualifies as a, uh, as a, uh, as jank. It's very awkward to, uh, to control, but it's not, uh, it's not an unredeemably terrible experience so far. It's been, it's been fairly easy. And we get lots of, uh, Lots of different interesting enemies to uh, to battle, even if the battles themselves are pretty lackluster. And I can't figure out how I'm doing that move. That's the sun setting. There are about 20 suns on this planet. Oh, this, the sun is setting behind every airplane. <laughs> it's pretty rough. Ooh, that's a that's a health refill. I don't can we go backward in the level? We can, but I've just wasted it. <laughs> I didn't mean to land on that. I was trying to see if I could scroll the screen backward, I was gonna leave it there for after I inevitably took damage. It was worth the struggle. So I learned to speedrun one game, a Castlevania Adventure, and it was mostly because, mostly because Mazin flattered me and peer pressured me into doing it. <laughs> um, so I did learn how to speedrun that game, and I enjoyed doing it, but I don't think. I really don't think I'll ever learn to speedrun another game. The um, the thing about it is, like, I don't really, I'm not really interested in the process of learning to speedrun games. Like, I watch people work on it, and you know, like, you sort of refer to videos of other people's sort of techniques and learn to implement them yourself, and that. This really just doesn't align with my sort of philosophy of playing games. I don't really want to learn from from other people how to do things. I prefer to I prefer to reinvent the wheel on every occasion. Uh, and so, so if I ever did choose to speedrun a game, like 
it would be a horribly painful learning process and very inefficient. Oh no, I have to master this move now. Oh, you know what? I kind of almost have. Just... Yes! 2705. 2705. Deranged Alcidians are on the loose. I'm not sure why they bothered with the story screens in between the levels, because they provide no information. <laughs> it's really the lowest effort they could have put in. You can invent your own suffer speed runs. That's what it would be. That's what it would be. <laughs> Mazen tried to do the same thing to you, but he didn't fall for his tricks. <laughs> I I kind of think I kind of think he does that that to everyone who plays the game. Uh. I have to say though, I think that um, I think I think Mazin might have put more effort into improving my my speed run of that game than I put into it though. <laughs> so I can't uh, I can't begrudge him for tricking me into doing it because it's because he really put in a lot of work. He would review my like he would review my runs and send me feedback and he even made uh he even made private videos for me <laughs> to uh to coach me like he did a lot of he did a lot of work It's basically just copying, just copying others. Yeah, and I'm not to say I'm not saying that's a bad thing. In fact, it's I think it's necessary. Like, it's actually really good that like, you know, games that that have speedrunning communities. Like the community aspect of it, it's really important. It's just it just it just doesn't fit with the way I prefer to play games, and I'm so I'm so stubborn and set in my ways about how I like to how I like to in, how I like to quote unquote enjoy games <laughs> that I just I don't think I I don't think I would have fun and uh, I will uh, only speedrun stuff I've beaten casually that's I mean I would I would expect nothing less Like, I think about that because I've been working on, a, you know, I work on these, like, challenge runs where I've tried to try to get through some tough games on one life and with these sort of other rule sets that I give myself. And I know that there must be information out there, like videos I could watch that would give me tricks and techniques that would save me a lot of effort, but... It would, uh... It would just take so it would take too much away from the experience for me. I must uh I must stick to the path of most resistance. It's very frowny. Do they provide no information or did you skip the vital lore video at the beginning of the game again? <laughs> 
So there was a video at the beginning of the game, but I don't think it provided any lore. It was more just uh, for ambiance, I think. Uh, Mazinus wants more com competition in a game that essentially only has a couple of runners. Yeah, that's true. And you fell into his trap. <laughs> that I did. Hooked on Pot says, I have a close friend who speedruns a lot of games. He tries to get me into it all the time. I like to play games to relieve stress, though, and speedrunning seems stressful sometimes. Oh, incredibly. Incredibly stressful. The dedication to grow the community. He certainly has that. It's hard to play casual games with my buddy when we hang out now. He has to speedrun everything and he makes a competition out of it. It's okay, we still have fun. There's a place for just casually enjoying something and playing for optimization and knowing that distinction is important. came from this guy again oh he wasn't the boss this time he's been demoted to regular enemy from boss to micro boss no what is this who's Who's firing these discs at me? Oh, I don't like this guy. No, my animations are too detailed. I can't, uh, I can't maneuver quickly enough. <laughs> I have too many frames of animation to get through. I'm turned around. No. I have no health. I have no health for the uh, for the boss fight coming up now. This is a this is a bad situation. Well, it started off. I mean, it didn't really even the battle didn't even really start. That's one of my least favorite things in games, when an earlier boss just becomes a regular enemy, feels lazy. It can. And usually does. I'm, I, I'm usually there with you. There is a... I think that there... There is an argument for, like, when a regular boss... When a boss becomes a regular enemy, like... I think it can be done in a way that, like demonstrates like you know your growth like how you've become more skilled and more powerful as a character and so I think it can be a good thing but it basically never is I saved all of my health and then I wasted it all with my inability to operate the controls <laughs> After a few barley pops, he slows down to my level. That or I can get better and keep up. <laughs> Fair enough. 
Does anyone actually like that? I think we can collectively agree it's not interesting. Yeah, that's true, like in Symphony of the Night. Well, this guy is just going wild this time. I'm not gonna, once again, I'm not gonna have any health. <laughs> I really wish I could figure out how to do that attack more reliably. Can we jump onto the ladder? No. You have to, you have to walk up every rung of the ladder. You cannot, you cannot jump to the middle of it. I don't like that. <sighs> A game that I really like that is weighted down with reused boss rushes is Okami. I feel like you fight the same bosses over and over in an otherwise really fun game. I haven't, uh, haven't actually played that one yet. Just approaching this boss is is incredibly difficult. No, don't get hurt. I wish I could just fire at a diagonal instead of having to do that that weird sweep every time. It would be nice to just aim in the direction I want to fire. Just jump and hope for the best. Ugh. Why does the GameCube controller have to have such a terrible D-pad? <laughs> Three, one, zero, seven. We did it. Three, one, zero, seven. Buzzard is on the loose again, and K needs help. Why did that guy, uh, why did that guy neuralize me? Now I'm not going to be able to remember the earlier levels. It's just so small, I know. It's a, it's a micro D-pad. It's a miniature replica of a D-pad. I, I... Okay, I leap onto that guy. No! I should have been ready for that guy. I would like to say I don't hate this game, but every time I say something like that, the game begins to to punish me.
three, one, one, zero, seven. It's just, it gives us this story. Buzzard is on the loose again. Who is Buzzard? Again, did we fight someone named Buzzard earlier in the game? Then why wasn't why wasn't it pointed out who Buzzard was the first time we encountered this individual? I cannot follow this minimalist style of storytelling. Oh yeah, I forget I can run. I was really hoping I could just I could get through there with one hit. And it it wasn't happening. This is based on the Men in Black cartoon. Yes, yeah, this is based on the cartoon. I um I don't remember ever watching the cartoon. I've seen the first movie. I've seen the first movie several times. And I've seen the um I've seen the music video from the first movie a lot. I've seen the second movie once or twice. I don't think I ever saw the cartoon except I remember I remember a a I remember a clip where I guess the boss is assigning the uh, the agents to go out in pairs and he uh, he says to uh, Jay he says and you will go with you and Jay interprets that to mean that he's being sent alone on the mission and is a uh, not happy with that news until the boss clarifies that by you he meant agent you and that gag was so hilarious that it has stuck with me for all these years perfect game for jankuary jank ufo airy The sort of sub theme of um, aliens that has uh, that is now um, permeating my jankuary choices um, is actually a, just a result of happy accident. <laughs> Guy buzzard. Nope. Uh, nineteen ninety one to 
2000, or no, 1997 to 2001 or two. I think it was something like 40 or 50 episodes. Cow says, I love the cartoon. Yeah, I just never really watched it. This game reminds me of one of the handheld tiger games. <laughs> There is a kind of a there is kind of a quality uh, there's a sort of a quality of one of those LCD games to the uh, to the graphics. I can I can definitely agree with that. What's going on here? Why can't I reach this? This is unacceptable. This is impossible. Oh, never mind. Is that buzzard? Is this the boss? Good thing I've got a power up, huh? No, don't hurt me. Go before he fires again. He looks like a grasshopper. That's why I've got to use the noisy cricket to fight him. That all makes sense. Abbott and Costello level humor, exactly. <laughs> to be fair, the joke was delivered much more smoothly than my explanation of it. That's a one-hit kill. I think few people have ever explained a joke less gracefully than I just did. <laughs> I don't like I don't like this at all. I don't like this situation. I don't know why it's going so poorly for me. But I will point out that I'm not happy with it. No. That that platform. That platform is messing up my jump. How he just kind of gave up on attacking me. That was not a shot at the joke. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't interpret it like that. There we go. Oh, finally. stand on that one too. I'm just going to hope he never comes all the way over here. He does. <laughs> no. No, we have to do the whole level again. 3107.
this, uh, the boss of this level is significantly more difficult than anything we've come across before. If this were a regular Game Boy game, I would suspect that this is the last, uh, but this is the last level. But I think a Game Boy Color game is likely to be a little bit longer than that. We're only six levels in. Oh, that's a lake behind us. Look at that reflection. I'm not really sure why the moon is reflecting so far to the right of itself, but I mean, I guess reflections can work like that. I don't think so. I think that makes our angle of observation very odd. I'm not an artist, though. Maybe I just don't understand how perspective works. That guy was easy this time. I'm sure we'll be seeing him again momentarily, though. Oh, this this boss isn't uh, ET boss levels of difficult, right? Um, so far, so far, I wouldn't I wouldn't say that. The uh, Oh man, those E.T. bosses really had me in tears. Alright, we have a strategy. It's going to be very slow. I am going to fight this guy. With, a, with an inhuman sluggishness. Especially since that second shot didn't even count. No, I don't think that one did either. I, if we don't see the enemy sprite flash, I don't think the damage counts. But I know... I know we can land attacks like this, because we did it once. Oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. Can I? I gotta. I have to need to see if I can fire through this. Ooh, I can. Not only that, when I crouch, I don't... It, there's no blowback. Nice! Oh, this is perfect! That wasn't even the last boss. Oh my. 
I mean, again, I don't think it's the last boss of the game, but that wasn't the last boss of the level. Oh, we had to rescue a... Okay. Thanks, Slick. We need the LTD looking like new. Which means... I can't let you drive it. What? Was that the end of the game? What? That was the- was that- Thank you for the trophies. Uh, thank, thank you Hooked on Pot, and thank you Cows for the trophies. I think that was the whole game! GG, you beat it. Really? There's only six levels? What a, what a sudden ending! I've got to look this. I've got to look this up. I've got to be sure. Was that the, was that the true ending? Are there multiple endings? Because that seemed kind of unsatisfactory. Doubt I'm going to be able to find any. useful uh, intel oh here we go it has its own has its own Wikipedia page player faces 12 different types of aliens across six levels. I don't see anything about multiple endings, though. Well, how underwhelming. Thank you for the uh, thank you for the GGs. Welcome in uh, Stack Cat. If I didn't say it, by the way, welcome to the stream. And Itarama, welcome in as well, Itty. Happy to have you here, my friends. Licensed games are lucky to get an ending. Uh. All right. Well, let's just take a let's just take a quick look here. Parameters. I should have looked at this at the beginning. Skill level, easy, normal, and hard. I don't really see any reason to play the game again on hard. Normal difficulty was fine. I can't believe it. We beat this whole game in less than an hour and a half. Alright, well that was... That was Men in Black, I guess. <laughs> I'm stunned. I'm stunned. I'm just... I can't re I can't recover from the shock. <laughs> I think it's been the same music the whole time. Has it? I, I just... Uh, I, I, I don't know. I just... I, I, I lost my ability to perceive it. Imagine if this was your only game. I mean, you know that there were, there was at least one child out there that this was, this was their first video game, and the only one they had. Who said you weren't a speedrunner? <laughs> uh, all right. Well, that's uh, that that's that. So we're gonna move on to Donkey Kong Country then, and uh, 
Oh, the struggling will continue. This, uh, this uh, we've met our our jank quota for the night. We're gonna move on from our bad game to uh, to a good game, though it may be a rough time because I'm I am playing. You know, if you haven't been here for it, I'm playing Donkey Kong Country um, blind and trying to find all of the secrets, and some of them are exceedingly well hidden. So there's a lot of a uh, lot of grinding through the levels to try and stumble upon <laughs> where these things are. But if you want to come along on that adventure with me, my friends, then I will see you again in just a moment. <laughs> 